over the last couple of weeks gold has uh, recovered a little bit and it has even uh, briefly touched the declining 50-day moving average the question is is gold going to continue to recover perhaps over the next few weeks let's talk about that welcome to myfinanceteacher.org where we analyze a range of assets including precious metals energy cryptocurrencies and the general stock market for more details you are more than welcome to join us by uh, clicking this uh, register button Coming back to gold, as usual, let me first start with a look at the DXY, the dollar index. And when I have the dollar index zoomed up all the way like this to uh, just a few weeks, we see the ongoing short-term daily cycle in the US dollar, uh, which so far has been going on for around 35 days. Usually these cycles last for around a couple of months. So if uh, there is another push higher in the DXY index, I don't think it's going to go extremely high before a cool off into the end of the ongoing short term daily cycle. Zooming out a little bit, you might see this uh, resistance zone on the DXY somewhere around um, 94.6 all the way up to about $95. That's based on late last year highs and the pandemic lows in March 2020. Currently, dollar is um, starting to dip into that resistance zone. So again, the cycle rally can perhaps continue for another few days before the short-term daily cycle on the US dollar would be likely to turn back down. And within these next few days of a cycle rally, perhaps if we get a repeated poke above these uh, relatively wide Bollinger Bands, that would be another potential signal of a reversal to the downside coming up. And if this strength in the US dollar perhaps just over the next few days is not extremely impressive, then perhaps the RSI would give us a bit of a negative divergence, which is also a potential signal for a bit of a reversal coming up. And now zooming out a little bit on the US dollar index, the intermediate cycle on the US dollar is right now 136 days long. Usually these intermediate cycles last for around half a year on the US dollar, Although the previous one was kind of short at only 139 days long. Actually, if you zoom out a little bit more, the cycle before that was also quite short at only 127 days long. So perhaps to bring the cycles to their average duration of perhaps somewhere around half a year, the cycle might actually extend this time, which maybe might look something like this. A bit of a strength in the US dollar to uh, poke again above the Bollinger Bands, and uh, touch that resistance zone once again. I think it's not very likely that the US dollar is going to break significantly above that resistance zone, above somewhere around 95, before the ongoing short-term daily cycle has to cool off a little bit. And uh, as uh, perhaps the intermediate cycle is likely to stretch a little bit more, after a bit of a cool down, perhaps there will be another push higher in the US dollar, maybe even a bit of a poke above this 95, or a double top on the ongoing intermediate cycle before the dollar cools down into that uh, intermediate cycle low perhaps over the next couple of months or maybe even several months so this is what i think is perhaps the most likely scenario but remember nobody knows the future and based on historical charts we're just trying to figure out uh, some of the most likely scenarios now moving back to gold, the last video on gold came out in uh, late October, as far as I remember, when gold was somewhere around 1750. As I mentioned, gold was likely to continue down for another few days into the short-term daily cycle low before a bit of a bounce into the next short-term daily cycle rally. This is um, almost what gold did. Instead of continuing down for another few days, it only continued for a couple of days, giving us the previous short-term daily cycle lasting for 51 days. The average is somewhere around one and a half months, as far as I remember, in gold. So it looks like we are in a new short-term daily cycle, which so far has been only going on for about nine days. And although, of course, it is also possible that gold just drops out of bed right here, meaning that uh, the previous cycle is still continuing, giving us a cycle low perhaps a bit later. Sometimes these gold cycles do stretch above two and a half months. But I would give this scenario perhaps only a 30% chance. With a more likely scenario where gold continues a little bit higher from here. But as I mentioned in my previous video, I don't think gold is uh, ready to go back to new all-time highs again. 
as I've said, this intermediate cycle in gold, which has been going on since early August, perhaps is going to be a bit of a modest, a more of a sideways move in gold, a bit of a rally over the next short term into that second short term daily cycle of the ongoing intermediate cycle, a bit of a correction a few weeks later, a fake rally into the last daily cycle before the drop into the end of the ongoing intermediate cycle which usually do last for around half a year in gold so perhaps a drop into uh, early next year which uh, would just be in time for a new rally into the new intermediate cycle as i mentioned last time of the chinese new year which is usually a good time for precious metals one disappointing thing with this uh, ongoing rally in gold over the last couple of weeks has been this very long week a bearish week actually on a green candle in gold when gold just touched this 50 day moving average before coming back down to below 1760. So as I mentioned, as a dollar is likely to strengthen just over the next few days, perhaps gold will move a little bit lower for another few days before continuing this rally into the new short term daily cycle. This is my 70% um, scenario where gold gives us um, some sort of an inverse head and shoulders signaling at least uh, some sort of a temporary relief uh, from this uh, gold price going down for uh, such a long time already. If you zoom out, gold has uh, generally kind of been going down for over a year now. Although in the last half a year or so, it's uh, more of a sideways move rather than downwards. Uh, looking at silver, on the longer term chart, it does look a little bit more interesting than gold because as gold has been going down for over a year, Silver has generally been going sideways for over a year. And uh, what do you see just a few days back? Silver came back to this uh, lower range of this sideways move. That's a support zone based on uh, several previous lows, somewhere around uh, $22.5. And, and it was kind of scary when silver poked below that support zone. But with silver slightly above that support zone right now, perhaps that was a fake out before another trip higher. And of course, a move back to um, the upper range of this long-term sideways move uh, somewhere around uh, $28 uh, would be quite welcome. And uh, I do think silver is uh, due for some sort of a bounce over here. Although I'm not really sure if it's uh, going all the way back up to $28, $30 anytime soon. Next, let's have a look at um, optimism index, both in gold and silver. And we see that if gold is going to continue a rally into the short-term daily cycle, as well as the rally of the intermediate cycle, which so far has been going on for uh, just over a couple of months already. I don't think we should uh, be worried about the uh, market sentiment being a bit too optimistic as the gold optimism index is only at 53 right now. There is a lot of space above. So I think a rally is uh, quite likely over the next several weeks. Although, again, as I mentioned, over the next few days, as dollar is still struggling near the top of its cycle, perhaps a bit of softness in the precious metals. Now, talking about the intermediate cycles, looks like the optimism index on gold has actually dropped below the previous low of the intermediate cycle. Does that mean that um, we've already done with the ongoing intermediate cycle rally and we're just going to continue down for the rest of the cycle, perhaps over the next several months? Well, it's possible. Of course, nobody knows the future. I would give that scenario perhaps, again, 30% chance, but I think it's more likely that this cycle is somewhat similar to the previous cycle, giving us a bit of a double bottom before continuing higher. I've also mentioned this in my previous video. And regarding the optimism index, giving us a lower low while the intermediate cycle is supposed to continue its rally, well, it has happened in the past, in uh, mid-2019, for example. That's also when gold is just generally going sideways and the markets have um, no interest in precious metals. Back then, uh, gold has finished its intermediate cycle somewhere in uh, late April, early May with a bit of a double bottom separated by only a few days. That was over here in late April, early May, where the low on the optimism index wasn't as low as uh, just before or just after that. So the previous intermediate cycle low a couple of months ago, coinciding with a um, bit of a higher low on the optimism index compared to the neighboring lows, is something that uh, has happened in the past as well. But as I mentioned, what's more interesting is what's happening on silver, where we see optimism index is quite low. And usually whenever this optimism index, at least over the last um, 
couple of years, whenever the optimism index on silver came down to about 40 or even sometimes somewhere around 50, that has been a good buying opportunity on silver. Although, of course, sometimes the blood is really flowing on the streets when this optimism index drops all the way down towards 20. Still, it's more often the case that a buying opportunity comes when the optimism index is bouncing from this level of 40, and that's exactly what's happening right now. So, as I mentioned, my most likely scenario is at least a bit of a short-term rally. Is the, that rally going to come all the way back up to $28, $30 on silver? You tell me. Let me know in the comments below whether this rally is going to fizzle out really quickly or is it going to have some legs. Enjoy your weekend and uh, good luck in your trades.